Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I have another Amazon finds and favorites. Super excited to get into it. Everything will be linked down below. You can also check out my Amazon shop for even more recommendations. And if you're new here, I make a lot of Amazon videos and I'm currently doing gift guides. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out. You can also follow me on Instagram if you want to keep up with me and see even more of my recommendations. I'm always posting over there on stories. And yeah, I think that's everything I have to say. Let's get into it. So today's video is actually sponsored by Jedi when they reached out to me I was so excited because number one I love trying things to review for y'all to see if they're actually worth the money and the hype and number two there's nothing I love more than a robot vacuum I have three dogs I have only carpet upstairs and I run a vacuum every single day because if not we would be drowning in dog hair and by far out of the five vacuums robot vacuums that I've tried off Amazon the Jedi vac station is the best one I have to show you what makes it so cool and really stand out from all the other ones that I've tried is that this is a vac station so basically it vacuums it mops and it self empties which is insane like that is the coolest feature and their app is so user friendly the house mapping feature is probably the best one out of all the ones that i've tried so the reason why the jedi vacuum works so well at mapping out your house your space your floor plan is because it has visual mapping technology that works together with a floor tracking sensor to map out your house kind of like a gps so that means that the jedi vacuum won't miss a spot it cleans the edges the corners it doesn't go like all over the place nothing drives me crazier than a vacuum that just starts like going different places it goes back and forth in a super organized way which is the best because it doesn't miss anything on your floor you can also always use the app to edit your home map so maybe you want to avoid a certain area for example i would avoid maybe like where there's toys i can easily just map that out on the app and that way the jedi knows to avoid that area but it'll continue to clean around it very easily probably the best part is that it vacuums and mops at the same time so basically it has a 3000 pa strong suction power and a smart mopping system so it does both at the same time which not only is it a time saver but say you spill cereal and milk at the same time it will pick both of them up it was super easy to install i love the look of it i love that it's all white and sleek and beautiful it's just like my aesthetic dreams you know and it charges super quick in my opinion compared to other ones i've tried i feel like the battery actually lasts such a long time i think this vacuum would be beneficial for anyone um especially if you have kids or pets or you just simply don't have the time to be cleaning your house like deep cleaning your carpets or your rugs or your floor every single day i think this is a no-brainer you can use the app on your phone to empty the dustbin you can use the app on your phone to start it and stop it send it back to the station and if it were to like disappear tomorrow i would buy it in an instant so all that to say i highly highly recommend checking out jedi so i'm gonna have a link to amazon down below that's where you can purchase it and you can also check out their website for giveaways and to get 40 percent off i have a lot of new beauty to share with y'all the first thing i picked up was this little last serum i've been using it for about two weeks so i feel like it's too early to tell how well it works but basically i always use a grande lash or babe lash and those are like 45 dollars plus i think the grande lash might be 65 so I wanted to try a more affordable option. This one is 20 bucks and it has amazing reviews. The befores and afters look very, very good. So I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna use it until I run out and then give you guys like a before and after look. But I feel like so far my lashes definitely like feel a little longer, but there's no way it's gonna work that fast. So if you're looking for an inexpensive one that has good reviews, this one is good. But like I said, stay tuned for my own review. I've been loving this shape of fake nails and I really like the nail art like trendy situation got these from target however i found these that i thought would be perfect for like a photo shoot that we're doing soon and just like something a little more muted you know what i mean because these tie-dye nails are a little crazy so these i found off amazon and they are the same shape same length but they are like a classic french tip and i thought these would be great for those of you that maybe don't love like crazy nail art because sometimes i'm in the mood sometimes i'm not however they do sell different ones like different designs in the same listing so you can like scroll they have like colorful tips they have like little designs so if you're into that these are under 15 bucks and i will let you know how long they last once i wear them here's another um, story on philo keeps things that are meant to be a gift 
I was doing my makeup today and I realized that all my beauty sponges are looking a little crusty because I probably got them like this time last year and I was gonna give this to a friend don't worry I already ordered her one to her address so she's not gonna miss out but I decided to keep this one for myself so this is only nine dollars it comes with seven sponges these are too many ones and they're all different kinds and in the back it actually like tells you why they're all so different like what they're meant for like I don't know it just says like blur finish natural finish flawless finish airbrush finish and then these little ones would be perfect for like concealer and contouring so I'm actually gonna keep this so if you want to see kind of like another um, Amazon beauty must-haves let me know and I'll definitely review like a ton of things that I've been using Yeah, girl is currently like writing the struggle bus when it comes to breastfeeding I don't know why my milk supply has gone to crap in the past like three weeks I haven't done anything differently. I'm still pumping. I'm still doing everything right and I literally get like maybe two ounces a day so to figure out if like this is just like the end of my journey or not I tried this or I'm trying this I'll definitely update y'all in a vlog this is the legendary milk liquid gold and it's a supplement that's supposed to really help boost your milk supply I don't know y'all so I started doing it yesterday I will update y'all but at this point I'll try anything because I freaking hate the thought of just doing four I love breastfeeding. I know that's not a popular opinion, but I freaking love breastfeeding I love the fact that I'm able to feed my child like with my own milk, you know, like I think that's so cool And I just hate that it's going away And this is exactly what happened to my mom and I thought like it wouldn't happen to me and here we are I'm like almost three months postpartum and it's literally going away and I literally could cry it makes me so sad so I've been trying this I've been trying teas and other supplements I've been trying to eat more and nothing is working so if you have any tips please let me know because I didn't know I would be this sad until right now talking about it I realized how upset I am so if you have any tips oh my god am I gonna cry <laughs> please let me know so a lot of these things I've been buying to review on gift guides but I'm actually super into this I'm not gonna keep it because we have a family friend that is all about Texas pride and he moved away to California so I thought this would be great for him but I wanted to share so it is a $20 or like $19 bamboo like cutting board slash cheese board I think this would be fun as a housewarming gift as someone who like loves their state like I'm saying or or like someone maybe that moved away and you want to like give them a little something before they leave I think this is really cute very inexpensive it comes in different states and also like countries I saw Mexico the US map there's a ton so I wanted to recommend it they say it's like hundred percent bamboo and it actually feels pretty nice and good quality I picked up some new packing cubes I had mine for coming up on five years and I've lost some of them some of them the zipper stopped working so I wanted to get a better quality set and something a little more neutral so I got this face set and this is great to keep things organized but also in my opinion this helps to reduce like space like bulk because you have everything nice and organized and this was my favorite one out of all of them that I checked out because it comes with one of those travel makeup cases that you can just hang or like toiletry bags so I thought this was perfect so it comes with that one and this one what do you say wish you have a colorful life always random things <laughs> anyway that and then a laundry bag and then this that i think is for shoes another little pouch and then all the little packing cubes that are amazing so different sizes which is always great than a bigger one i think this would be make a great gift for anyone i got a mirror mostly to try out for a gift guide but also because i really needed one and i really really like this one so i don't really want to show you the mess that i have behind y'all to be honest so let's just show it like this i like that it folds because it makes it like a little bit more compact the price is actually great and you can either use batteries or the usb charger and it has like an led light in the center and then two magnified sides or like two magnifying 
things on the side and then one long one right there and then this also like moves around which is also very convenient i really like this i think for the price this is a great mirror and i am definitely recommending it for my under 25 gift guide i have some baby stuff the first thing is these two little rompers that i got for the winter time this one is adorable it just says santa baby and it's really nice and like a waffle knit material which is perfect for the winter um the range of the sizing is kind of off i think this one says it fits zero to six months or something which would be insane but i'm sure this is definitely gonna fit her by december and then this one i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep i did a poll on instagram and the majority of people say to keep it actually now that i look at it it is pretty cute it's just this like sherpa teddy bear it's so cute it kind of reminds me of like Ralph Lauren and they were both under $14 and speaking of my beautiful perfect child we have another Amazon find so I got a baby monitor that's like Wi-Fi connected and that you could see through an app and I remember hearing a bunch of people say get a physical like monitor that you can hold in your hand and that's not connected to wi-fi and i'd be like why like i don't need that i have like a cool one on my phone that i can just bring around all over the house wrong first of all listen to mom's wood experience because obviously i didn't and number two well i didn't even say number one but anyway oh yeah i did say first of all <laughs> my videos have become such a freaking mess the second thing is i need my phone like there's no way i can like be staring at her in my phone app and be on calls check my instagram things like that so it's just not a good idea in my opinion it's best to have both because when i'm out of the house and my husband's taking care of her or my mom i can easily like check her on the thing but this has been amazing so this was only 59 dollars which out of all baby monitors i feel like this is pretty inexpensive and it works really really well i mean you can see her going in her little bassinet wireless first of all which i think it's key and the charge or battery lasts a really long time the camera is great with the angles the quality is pretty decent i mean i have nothing bad to say and i'm only pissed off that i didn't buy this sooner also i promise y'all my newborn essentials is coming very very soon i meant to post this when she was like five weeks old and she's 12 weeks so yeah i'm slacking but that's coming very soon anyway highly recommend add it to your registry even if you think you're not going to use it you could always return it but i feel like 59 dollars is not even that much for something that's going to give you so much peace of mind when you can like literally stare at them and do a million other things okay, i did something so as you all know i love this dog with all my heart i would literally do i would jump in front of a truck for him yes you i love him but he does so many things that bother me. And this is one of them. Do y'all see that disgusting yellow stain at the bottom of this chair? Yeah, that was him. So this is really fun for me. You know, when I spend so much money on a chair and he ruins it. So I decided to spend even more money to clean it. And I'm going to put like a solution that's supposed to like deter the dogs from peeing on it. Hopefully that works. So we're going to try the little green machine by Bisol. I got this off of Amazon. I'll link it down below. It was on sale. And see if it works. So here is a good look. Ew, this looks terrible. I think I made it worse actually by doing the spot cleaning. So here's it before. Let's see if it works. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was actually cleaning it, but that is freaking disgusting. Oh my god, ew. Yeah, I'm gonna wash this while I'm grossed out. I know I owe y'all like a wedding planning update, but honestly, there's just too much going on right now. So I'll definitely do like a little Q&A soon and address like a bunch of things, but why did i get into that tangent the point is i got this because i thought it'd be cute to have for when we get married and just like to have right now i basically don't have a wedding band i find that my engagement ring is really hard to pair up with a band so if you guys have a similar one and you have a wedding band or anything like that please talk to me on instagram because i have no idea i need to go to like the jeweler and kind of see some styles and try them on because honestly i never wear a wedding band because i don't have one another tangent that didn't matter the point that i'm trying to make here is that i got this little box and it is a velvet jewelry like engagement and wedding band 
box and I thought this was super cute obviously I love the color but they have really cute ones they have like a blue that like would be a something blue you know I think that's pretty cute so I plan on putting like my initials here like my monogram um for our wedding and just like taking some cute pictures and getting my husband one I just think that'd be cute but I wanted to share just in case y'all are getting engaged soon or um, you have friends that are getting engaged to and family members. I think this would be a really, really cute little gift and super inexpensive, but I love mine. I love to have it. Even though I was going to ask it on my Instagram, I never take off my engagement ring. I probably should, but I never do. Do y'all like wear it all day, every day, or do y'all take it off at night? Because I never do. Okay, let's talk about a fail because I tried to return this yesterday and they wouldn't freaking let me. So I don't want y'all to make the same mistake I did. I got this because i saw it on like a live on the amazon app and it's basically for blondes that want to kind of like hide their dark roots like i have right now yes i need to go see my hairdresser i'm coming very soon if you're watching this anyway i want to give this a try and it is probably the worst product i've ever tried in my life not to be dramatic this has no pigment and you have to use a lot of it for it to actually like show up on dark hair and even then, it made my hair so greasy and like full of product that I have to wash it immediately. And I had just washed it. So I really don't recommend this, especially if you have blonde hair. Maybe if you're trying to like add some root shade on like blonde hair with darker color, maybe that would work. But this sucks in my opinion. So guys, that's everything for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and let me know if you want to keep seeing these. Like I said, I have a ton of Amazon content coming this month and in December. So don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more thank you to jedi for sponsoring today's video definitely check them out in the description box below not only is it great to treat yourself with it but it would make the most amazing gift this holiday season so definitely check them out thank you guys so much for watching and for being here for all your love and support i'll talk to you guys very soon in my next one